Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn, where as you can see, I have put in a load of chimneys and things and bits and pieces. Every house has some form of extension on it. Um, and I discovered you could do this as well. You can put chimneys in here. And also the chimneys have the ability to move. You can you can adjust their heights and things and, and uh, uh, make them move around and do things so it's like I've done a little bit here and things so yeah we um we have we have extensions on the side of buildings and we have a weird monument thing there uh the buildings that don't have chimneys have the standard roof on them so I just haven't put chimneys in for them um, but that's fine not everyone has to have a chimney uh, yeah it's all uh it's all quite cool I quite like it I quite like it it's a little weird however that um uh the chimneys seem to be independent to uh, they, they don't seem to follow the wind necessarily like some sometimes the chimneys will be blowing in a direction and the wind moves won't be spinning now they are but i've seen it before where the chimneys were blowing in a direction and the wind moves weren't spinning so i don't know it's a bit weird it's weird maybe you need a certain strength of wind before these even start going i'm not sure anyway we have our food in stock uh, food all here ready to go but -dum -dum. we're up to 40 happiness which is awesome this is working over here i also put some chimneys down here and then discovered i can't click these chimneys to adjust them uh, i was going to move them inside to make it look like these things were smoking but uh, I, I can't move them now but yeah i think it looks all right it's fine um also told the idea of put a chimney in the center here to make these burn but it seems a bit weird they burn all year round so yeah um I have adjusted the distribution system to have five bots in each one. Um, I kind of figured instead of having 10 in one place, um, uh, that having 10 in three places would be better, but we don't have the bots for it. We are, we're out of bots. We need we need more bots than we currently have. So um, we've gone with five in each one and it seems to be working. The water is now staying in this area. We're actually importing the water fast enough. Goods are coming over. Everything's working everything's working so yeah um there's a few little things i want to do uh one i want to start some um catalyst running here is a catalyst what's it called the uh the boost for um, what's what's the what's the uh the bot boost called um yeah catalyst yeah um, okay so what's that called extra yeah that's where i'm getting confused i thought that was catalyst no i wouldn't mind starting some catalyst up to give our our uh, bots some boost mainly only in the industry sector i think having them boosted up here so they start making gears and things faster would be nice we are doing very well on resources although we're not this this is a bit of a problem here we um our planks they drop and then they raise and they drop and they raise but every time they drop they're lower so like from full it will drop down and then fill up again and then drop down and fill up and it, it's moving sort of like this it's it's filling up a bit and then coming down and then filling up again. but every time it comes down it comes down more than it refills so i was thinking getting some catalysts in this area here would boost our bots in this area here produce the work get things going faster would make us some more bots as well because they'd be running faster so so I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. I don't know if I need one or two of them. Uh, let's move this. Let's move this scrap metal here. We'll put it uh, over here. I don't need a large one for this. Let's make this uh, scrap and let's um, empty this guy. Get rid of the, uh, the logs. I don't know why the logs are there. Anyway. And we'll put two in here. Yeah. Come on, Beavis. Where's where, where's our builders? Where's our builders? What are you doing? Um, hello, builders. Hello. Oh, hey, hey, there you go. Stop. Right. Cool. And of course, they're going to take stuff out of there, and it's going to fill that before this is empty. So I have to destroy that as well. Put it on the ground. That's fine. Let's make this a priority so they pick that all up in there first before they come and do stuff here. Uh, and let's put in our things. Now, the refineries don't actually require fuel, so we could get two in there. Don't require power, is what I'm saying there, sorry. Um, let's put two in, like this. And get you doing catalyst. Bom, bom. Uh, catalyst requires 
extract, which we have, and we have fine. These, these are full and aren't running anymore, so that's fine. Um, and uh, maple, which we have come importing anyway, I believe. Or no, maple syrup. Um, oh, I might need storage for maple syrup. That would probably help. That would that would probably help. Um, Uh, not really anywhere I can put the storage for maple syrup. I kind of move things down here as well and put more storages and stuff down here. Um, interesting we haven't imported any maple syrup. Uh, is that on our import list? It should be. Yeah, everything's on our import list. Uh, oh, unless it's considered a food. No, it's up here, isn't it? Uh... No, it's there. Okay. Import maple syrup. It's considered a food type. Okay, that's fine. Nah, it's fine. That's fine. We have maple syrup. We don't have any... Um, uh, we have bread as well, don't we? We have wheat. Hmm. Let's put in some uh, bakeries um, as well. I'll leave a gap between them. We'll put two in. Oh. You're going to be doing maple pastries. You have nowhere to store your maple pastries. Um, kind of want to. I kind of want storage for the end products in this area. Hence why we've got bread, sunflower seeds, grilled, grilled potatoes. So, so let's put another storage in uh, here. I want to have, so I want to have space for maybe three of them and do the storage. They can walk around. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, and then this can be maple pastry. There. Cool. Okay. Okay. That means you're going to need more people. You need plus two bots, aren't you? Eight. There we go. Bump. All right. We're still waiting for all the exposures to be placed. They're getting there. They're getting there. Uh, these are too far away. So I need to find a way to get over there but what I think I'll do is I think I'll I'll do all this here I'll blow this all up and then we'll just build a path up to this and we also want to chop down some of these trees as well so um I just need to get rid of that tree there I might have to uh, uh cheat and get rid of that tree because there's no way I can get in there to get rid of it um I'd have to blow a path up next to it delete it and do things there so I'm just going to bring up the development console click on buildings and things here click on delete objects and boom there you go boom goodbye Goodbye. Not dealing with that. Not dealing with the uh, one for there. Uh, these two on the end can't be grabbed either. That's. I mean, they could stay on the end. We could have a little island over there. Wouldn't matter. We are getting it. We are getting it. It's just we only have four beavers or four bots moving stuff around. So, yeah. Um, do I want to have catalyst stored? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's build ourselves a big storage. And we'll put it. We'll put it there make this catalyst and then all our bots in here will gain catalyst um, which should um, increase their production speed to 100 so it goes up from uh, 100 and you've got it already uh, 90 to 120 to increase 30 percent speed so we should get 30 percent more of everything we're making about 300 bots so 30 percent of 300 bots is about 100 so we should go up to 400 bots in total. I would have thought 400-ish bots around that area. Not not exact numbers there, but that should be right. It says hopefully. Uh, what I might do is increase these ones here. Because this is the only connection between... Yeah, so we'll, we'll... We will increase these ones here. This is the only connection between the two... The industrial districts and that. Uh, Zuiji had an idea. Um, kind of what I was doing here. I didn't go with it. Um... We could run a path from here all the way along in between these two here and just raise it up above so long as the paths don't touch that's fine and then when we get over here that means this district can do things over here i might put it in temporarily and then let the uh, the uh, industrial district help build like the adventure park the the, the play park here so yeah the amusement park that's the word i'm after adventure park well um yeah 
you're going to need more people now. You want two, three, four, five. It's got 54. Boom, there you go. Okay, you might need more as well because I'm not sure about the water. You, the, the, the actual um, uh, bad water does seem to be dropping on this side here, which is interesting. I think they just take their time to do things. Now drought has come. It's not working either, so it's not going to help us. But yeah, and I might also need more water storage over here for... Um, up in case things don't quite go according to plan so let's do that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the smack bang up against the other one at the end these can both be water um, so then if we need to we can put two more pumps in the ends there and get more things going there but I think I think having more water in reserve down here I've wrote 44 happy to see um will uh give us um a better ability to feed into this area so you are good you have 60 bots every place is built and done dusted and sorted that's fine lots of things probably travel through here to get down and, and, and it's fine we've, we've now having multiple ones seems to have balanced it out so rather i think in the future if i'm ever using these things rather than just upping one of them to 10 um i'll leave it on i think default is four and then just build a second one and it seems to to like it can move the goods better they have a limit of 30 goods they can store in one go so that then increases that limit to 60 goods so then there's more throughput it's like a road it's like a road instead of putting we have like four four cars on a road and instead of putting 10 cars on the road to move things you build a second lane of road of uh second lane of the road and you get more throughput even though there's less cars on it you get more throughput because two cars can travel at once it makes perfect sense you're doing maple pastries that's fine you will export the maple pastries up here that's fine wait for the explosions to happen up there that's fine um are all our bots here getting catalyst i think so because none of our uh not filling over here so this should be going um like it should take half an hour rather than an hour and a half to run because uh, our bots are running at twice the speed so that should be fine which also means stuff like I said the planks and things will be even quicker to process so our planks should hopefully start going up they might not i might need to actually put in more plank production um and gears are also dropping as well which is probably because we're using so many of them here doing stuff but we're constantly using them to make bots so Need to keep an eye on that. Also, uh, we're using a lot of punch cards, which is fine. Might want to do some books over here as well. Put like two more of these guys in and run books. So we can export the books over. The beavers like books. Beavers like books. So so let's do this little part thing. Let's do this little part thing for the time being. Let's do... Um, uh, I'm just going to platform over. Uh, platform over there so beavers can still get out there they won't need to ever get out there but beavers can still get out and do things over there so that'll be fine we'll put a ladder there and a ladder there we'll run a path which connects to here and to here not that that particularly helps. There's no underground paths going through there to the back there. So we've got to go down and around. But that's okay. This is only a temporary, temporary connection thing here. So put them like that. And then this path can come along like this. Dump. And uh, that allows this district build access to, well, right now here. But it will allow build access to a lot of the majority of places over here. So we can put things in. Um, Paris here. Right. So, how are we gonna look at the amusement things? I don't know. Um, I need to put these in, but the problem is, is getting power to them. And I haven't kind of planned ahead for that because um, I can't tap into the power here because I haven't left any space to do that so 
um, very, very foolishly, um, I don't actually have any access to the power that I purposely built. Like, the power comes up here, because I think I was going to put the amusements up here, and now I've put the food here, so... Um... It's still doable. It's still doable. We can, we can figure it out. We can figure it out. We've got... I can always uh, move this back by one and have power come up there, but then I'd have to remove the farming monument. And rebuild the farming monument. That wouldn't be a terrible thing. We can do that. And then run the power up. Or I could do it here. Could move this over by one and run the power this over by one just by making this shaft in between the two here uh, one shorter it connects there and then the, the connection can end up here and going up i think that's what we're going to do instead but let's remove that and put an explosive here we'll shorten this power line and then we'll to power line there going up yeah i think it's going to be the best way to do this okay okay see if our bots ever get around to doing it um i, ne I never know where they are they got there okay let's detonate that pop uh, let's remove this guy does disconnect this road here so they've got to now go around sorry road works sorry you gotta go around you gotta go around I know nobody likes red works, they're horrible, but we then want to have T Junction here. That's not a T Junction, that one. There. With a top of it, like that. And then we remove that one and we build the thing out over to here. Which will be uh, do, 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 do. there. Okay, go. Right. What is that fuel? That's all right. You got fuel right there. Oh, oh, is this done? I think this is done. Yeah, I think we're done. Awesome. So they're just gonna put the explosives down there. Cool. Right, so in that case, I want to remove this here. Put in explosives in here. I don't think you can pick that up. I don't think we have any use for it, but... Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to bridge over to the uh, thing as well. Um, I also haven't really figured out where I'm going to put the aquatic farms either. I've just kind of blown up land to make land. I think we'll just sit them in the center on on platforms. That's kind of what I'm going to do. And then have the water, the, the, um, the, you go through the water, which won't be a problem for us at all because um, there's no contamination coming down here. So we should be fine for that. We should be fine for that. So, okay. Okay. Small minor tweaks are required here. Detonate that. Okay. Why are you not coming here? Can't get all the resources. Why can't you get all the planks? we don't have any planks up it no we're out of planks yep okay might need to increase our plank in gear production it's kind of awkward because i don't have the space to do it um hmm. where 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 do we put plank in gear production um Gears could be suffering because there's no planks. No, gears are not suffering because there's no planks. There's plenty of planks. It's just we don't have the space for it. So I don't know. I don't know where to put them. I could put like a a plank factory behind here because um, we have paths that go through underneath. So we could technically get a plank factory in there and a plank factory in there. Um, maybe like one back here somewhere as well. Um... Hmm. 
Hmm. It's all very tight knit and stuck together and oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh how do I want to do this? Let's squeeze in some more plank batteries for the time being. Let's, let's do that. So lumber mill. Uh, flip you, you can go there. Flip you, you can go there. And then we'll just put in that and that. There we go. But also, there's two more lumber mills making more. Uh, more planks. There's no point in destroying these and turning them round and doing like we did there with this because it still wouldn't give us enough. Um, we get one, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six in, I think. So we get one more factory in than what we currently have. Um, which I don't think is worth it. Is that right? So hang on. So one, two, three. We need a path. One, two, three. We need a path. One, two. No. no. So we wouldn't be able to get that in anyway because that wouldn't work in it. So we'd have we'd have three. Need a path, another three and a path, so yeah. Let me try and figure out exactly how to do this, how I can squeeze some stuff in here, and we will we will we'll come back in a moment. Okay, so I'm looking at it, I'm trying to figure it out, and I'm trying to play a bit of Tetris and move things around and change things, like move this down here and move that up there, and, and there's just there's no no we can't squeeze it in there. Even if I was trying to like turn turn buildings around. I would end up with the same amount of buildings in there because you need paths for them. So, I was thinking, what about going vertically? What about coming here where these um, things here and going up and then building like we did in the previous playthrough? We'll go up and we'll build platforms on top and put some lumber mills and things on top and we'll just run the power up on the back of the buildings up to it. That'll work fine. However, in the process of doing that, I glanced up and saw that our logs are down to under 100, down to 30 now. So we very much, very, very, very much need to get more trees. This is not enough. This is not enough. We need more trees. So we could chop down these trees over here. I don't particularly want to chop down those trees over here, so we won't do that. We'll leave that and um, let them do their thing. Um, I could move the maple and uh, chestnut trees to be maybe over the other side of the water. That wouldn't be so bad for them, I don't think over there um so yeah i'm not not too sure on that but i then remembered i said a few episodes ago let's do this here as well before i forget I'm going to Oop, and then. um over here now nah, you can see i have a little setup we're going to make a tree farm over here so that's what we're going to do that's what we're going to do i'm going to come over here and we are going to make a tree farm i'm going to fill in this area in here because I keep saying I'm going to do it and never get around to doing it. So let's see here. So we want to come off of here. And uh, I'm going to go that way. So we want to go that. I think like that. Okay. Then right up to the edge of it. that and that will get us some more land and then what we'll do is once that's once that's come in there because that should still keep the the entire side so what we'll do is we will then blow this down here and see how much we get here and do this and, and then we have forest over here forest over here we get some wood coming in from this place over here let's just change the paths up to pick them i know it's not very smooth or anything now but right. um yeah we'll put trees in over here and we will get a tree farm going over here as well um, and everything hopefully will be awesome and wonderful and fantastic I'm gonna also put in another uh, tank I think I'm gonna put it in just here on the yeah on the coast there that's gonna be for biofuel as well but um, they're gonna put all the explosives in here they can't get into the center of most of this I don't think at least they can think up here and do things so um, I'm going to blow off some edge here as well, so we could possibly double our storage of um, bad water, because it is, it's actually dropping. It's actually dropping. Um, so, yeah, we want to do that as well. Um, 
do trees down here this will be fine uh probably get rid of the hauling posts i don't think we need them all they're doing is moving around um Mm, we'll move the hauling post. We'll move the hauling post up here. Two up here. Put the hauling post. Uh, I want to save space for. Let's put the hauling post there. Okay, we'll do that. Boom. Uh, and then we can have all this area down here be for wonderful, wonderful green, green trees. So yeah, okay. So let's let them do that. We'll do the things there. In fact, you know what? Um, I might try and get the, um, the forest is in early. Um, do do I want to path all around the edge here like this. Boom. Uh, that can stay there for the bridge. That's fine. Don't really matter we might might when the uh when we find out where the new river edge is we might put a path in more close to the river edge just to make it look a bit better um but for now i just want to put in a forester um like there and a forest over here everything this side of this path is ours so yeah put a forester here um, we'll put in some lumberjacks um one two three and four and i need to make sure to pause those back to we'll pause them now because they can be made they're, they're free to make basically so and then what i'll do is i'll put in some trees good old-fashioned oak trees lip like that Okay, um, and uh, yeah, might even have some more um, harvesters down the bottom here, or some forests, things like that. Oak trees take a long time to grow, so you don't need that many um, uh, foresters for it. And then we'll do some more on this one as well, so yeah. so And we'll get more trees in, that's the idea, we'll get more trees in, which probably means I need a storage for logs. Let's, see. Let's build a big underground pile right here and make this a log one. There we go, awesome. And we'll get some... We get some uh, more logs in because yeah, that's gonna be a problem. And then it's, we're gonna have the same thing. We run out of trees, um, so uh, we will run out of planks, then run out of gears, and then run out of uh, bot limbs, and then the bots will start dropping down, and then the tree harvest will come in, and then all these trees will get harvested. It will fill our wood up, um, and then things will come along and start building up. But every cycle, it, if I if I build anything, it affects it. It's slowing down. If I don't build anything for a couple of cycles, just let the game run. It does seem to balance out okay, but it's not ideal. We definitely want more. So, so we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll get a second forestry going, and we'll do that. However, I would like to finish this episode off with an explosion or five. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. But don't no that one there we go but i will say thank you very much for watching everybody i do hope you have enjoyed this one i do hope to see you again in the next one yay and until then as always have fun Yeah, I just blew it up. <laughs>